Hey guys, it's Judy and welcome back to my channel. So for today, I am going to try to do the get to know me challenge. Not challenge, tag. Everything's a challenge nowadays, so I just assume. Little do you know that I actually tried doing this tag before, but like that video was like really cringy and awkward. So let's see if I won't be as cringy and awkward in this video. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is just look up a get to know me tag on Google and just find questions. Because usually they come in like, what, 15 questions or something? So well, let's see what we can get. First question, what is your middle name? My middle name is Diag Bell. It's D-I-A-G-B-E-L. So the way Filipinos do it is that they take the mom's maiden name and make it into their children's middle name. So me and my brother have the same middle name and then my mom's middle name is her mom's maiden name and then my dad's middle name is his mom's maiden name. So it really just passed that along. I really like that tradition because you know it keeps like the mom's culture and like the children's name. So I like, hope to do that with my kids, you know, if I get kids. Share your favorite subject in high school. Like academic subject, I'd say it's like math. <laughs> like math and science. I was really good at like the math science field. I'm not like passionate about it, so I don't see myself being a scientist or like a mathematician. But I just like pick up on the subject really well. It's like very analytical and like definite. You do some equations and you get the answer and it's all good. Like I was really good at chemistry. I really like calculus and pre-calculus and then statistics. So, I mean, I'm a little nerd, you know, a little Asian stereotype, but I just, I'm just really good at it, so I guess that's why I like it. What is your favorite color? Hmm, what is my favorite color? I don't know. I really don't know. So, what is your favorite drink? Hands down, chocolate milk. Chocolate milk is just like my favorite, favorite drink in the entire world. Like, I don't know why. Ever since I was little, I just love chocolate milk. But like, in order for me to sleep, I had chocolate milk at night. And like, even now to this day, if, I, if I'm like upset, I just need to drink some chocolate milk and I feel okay. What would you or have you named your children? I always think about that. But like, the way I'm gonna name my children, I might like do something like a little playful like with my husband or like the baby daddy's name. Cause like, my name is Juvie. And like, the way I got that is cause my mom my dad's name is June, J-U, then my dad's, oh, not my dad, my mom's name is Victoria, V-I. My mom took the first two letters of both their names and like put it together, so I was like, Juvie. That's something I want to do, just like kind of make their name. Have you participated in any sports? Does dance team count? Yeah, like that's the thing I did in high school, I did dance team. I only did for like two years in high school because I moved to a different high school. I say it's a sport because my art coach, Oh my god, my coach was so intense. Like, as punishment, if we like talked a lot, of course, that wasn't me. I was a good student. I was a good dancer. No, I'm kidding. But, like, if some of us are like not paying attention or whatever, she like punished us by doing like high, like, leg kicks, like a the kick, kick line. Oh my god, the kick line, and like try to do kicks as long as you can, super high. And it was a struggle for me because I was like really short compared to everybody else. I'm like, I'm 5'2", so everybody was like 5'6", or whatever, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I'm struggling. Did you like school? Oh, I'm still in school, but I guess like, did I like elementary school? Yeah, elementary school's fun. Middle school? Yeah. No, it was okay. High school? Yeah, it's okay. But I mean, I guess I like school. Like, I don't know, I just always struggled being around like a lot of people all at once, and it's just like, I'm such a little hurdle like, inside my shell sometimes but I mean when I was like a senior like senior year I started talking to a lot of people and branching out I was like a musical and like I was like participating in all like the homecoming week stuff so see like senior year I really branched out but overall school is pretty cringy and don't really think I want to ever go back what is your favorite animal it's gonna be super basic I say a dog dogs my favorite animals but like exotic animal I say a panda yeah Little, my little panda over there. You can see it. I don't think I've ever seen a panda in real life. Like, I don't think at the zoos I've been to had pandas. So, someday if I see a panda, I'll be very happy. What is your favorite perfume? Oh my god. I already know this one. Let me go get it. So, my favorite perfume is the Shawn Mendes perfume. <laughs> Not because it's just by Shawn Mendes, but like, it's because it smells good too. And like, I've been wanting one for a while. Mm. 
it smells like super delicious and like I didn't know this perfume is like for both boys and girls which is kind of cool like men and women can wear it like smell the same I feel like it's a pretty like unisex perfume you know like I didn't know that was a thing to do you know kind of sweet because there's like maple syrup in it, I guess because you know he's Canadian so I don't know I can't really describe it it's really good and you know Sean Mendes he's my husband so I had to support him duh have you been out of the country yes I'm Filipino so we go to the so me and my family would go to the Philippines at least like once or twice or we yeah, try to go like every like two years or so. Lately we've been going like every other year. But I didn't get to go this year because like uh, my mom and my brother went while I was in school. So I was like, Ugh, why they go without me? Like that doesn't make any sense. Cause uh, I wanna go. That's pretty much like the only country I've been to. I was born in Korea, but I mean I didn't really spend a whole lot of time there because I was born there. Like after like a few months of me being born, we left. We got stationed somewhere else, so. But I do want to travel more. Like, I definitely want to travel more and see the world. Do you speak any different languages? No. Yeah, no. English is all it is. My parents speak Tagalog to get to each other, but... And my mom's like Visaya, so she speaks Visaya and Tagalog. But my friends never really, like, taught me Tagalog because my brother, he actually knew it because he grew up in the Philippines for a little bit. But when it came to America, he was in those English second language classes, and so he had a hard time learning English. So I guess my parents just didn't want that the same thing to happen to me, so they just stuck with English for me. I understand like a little bit, but it's confusing because I always like mix it with Visaya. And, like Visaya is another dialect in the Philippines, and they sound kind of similar but also very different. So I don't know, it's just confusing. Also, I've been take I've taken like what three or four classes of Spanish. And I, I'm like good at it, like at the class, but like making sentences is a struggle. Like I can read it and like, I'm not really good at writing, but reading and understanding it is like, I'm good at it, but my grammar is terrible. Like if I spoke Spanish, it'll be at like a kindergarten level. So. Yeah, lo siento, mi español es malo. Do you have any siblings? Yes, just one, one older brother named Victor, and he's six years older than me, so it's always been kind of a struggle that he's older than me, but now that we're older, we've like gotten along. Like when we were younger, we did not get along at all. We fought like every day, but now that we're older, we like hang out, we go eat, he takes me to Dave and Buster's, he likes Starbucks a lot, so we go to Starbucks, and he also buys me food, so that's okay. What is your favorite restaurant? Oh my god, Oscar's Taco? I don't know if that's like a thing that's... All over the world i think it's probably like only in this region or something but it's called oscar's taco and it's just like a california mexican restaurant but i don't get everything i just get this one particular order and i get carne asada nachos uh, with no beans i don't like beans i know that's like kind of defeats the purpose of getting nachos or like burritos or anything i just don't like the texture of beans but anyways besides the point oscar's taco is delicious like i tried their tacos too and they're really really good i actually had that yesterday too I actually opened one in my hometown, so I'm like super excited so that I can get more clients and actors when I'm back home. Hat. Who are some of your favorite YouTubers? I watch a lot of YouTube. Like, that's kind of, that's a hard question because I've been watching YouTube since when it started, like 2008. But the first YouTubers I watched was like Smosh and Nigahiga. I don't really watch Smosh anymore, but I still watch Nigahiga, so. I say he has a special place in my heart. He's like one of the first YouTubers I ever watched and like, one I, that I watch regularly and got obsessed with. Kathleen Lines is definitely one of my favorites. She's like one of the reasons why I want to be like a makeup guru because she's like does the simple makeup and like she does all these beauty things. And just, I love her and her personality so I really want to meet her someday. That'd be really cool. So if she's watching, hi. I highly doubt that though. Jessie Smiles, yeah, that's Kathleen Lines' friend but like she was a Viner back in the day but she doesn't like it. Which I don't blame her because I never really like Vine when it existed either but she's really cool, super funny. Um, I like H3, H3 Productions, they're hilarious like, oh my god, Ethan Yahila, yes. PewDiePie, I don't know if people still like PewDiePie but I think he's still funny like, he does like a bunch of meme reviews so, I like memes, uh, PewDiePie it is. I don't know. I that's all I have for now, but I don't have like a part, like one favorite youtuber I just like like a whole bunch of people because they all do different things. So can't really pick one What is your favorite movie? I say my favorite movie is Selena Like the life story of Selena Quintanilla. I just remember as a little kid just putting in that VHS uh, 
VHS tape and watching it every single day. Like, I just love the music, and she's like, J Lo is so good. She's like freaking gorgeous. And I just like love that movie. I didn't really understand the ending when I was little. Like, I knew something bad happened, but I didn't really understand. But my favorite Pixar movie, like, I'm a big Pixar head, and like, I love animated movies. So my favorite Pixar movie it gotta be even Monsters Inc. Like. That is hands down my favorite Pixar movie because I love it so much and like I watched it so much as a kid too and I just love like the idea of doors leading to like different places in the world and like different rooms so I think it's really cool and it's just adorable. I used to think I was Boo. Like I wanted to be Boo. <laughs> what are some of your favorite TV shows? Oh, I watch a lot of TV shows because I mean I spend a lot of time at home on Netflix. At the moment, I'm watching Queer Eye, so I love Queer Eye. I'm watching Riverdale, love Riverdale, Jane the Virgin. Oh Yes, Jane the Virgin. If you haven't watched that, watch it, like, now. Um, I Zombie. you can watch that show too. Like, oh my god. What's another favorite show? Yeah, that's all I can think of right now. I watch a lot of shows, so it's kind of hard to think of everything. What phone do you have? I have a Samsung, but I have the Samsung 8, and I love it. Like, I used to have an iPhone 5S, and I had that thing for, like, five years. So when the iPhone X was out, I still had the 5S. So you can only imagine how slow that thing was. Like it was the slowest thing on earth. Like it would not move. And like once it gets to like 50%, it just dies. Like I don't understand. Yeah, that's the whole reason why I switched to this, uh, Android because I was like, oh, I'm done with iPhone. I just can't do it anymore. Like I still, Apple products are still great, but uh, the iPhone wasn't for me. But yeah, I'm still stick with my Android and I still like it. So let's see how far it goes. <laughs> Last question, do you have any pets? Yes, I do. I have two dogs. The first one is Laki, which means boy in Tagalog or Visaya, whichever one. And he's a German Shepherd slash Husky mix. So you can only imagine how wild he is. He's so aggressive and like, is this, he's just really aggressive. But he's still really playful. Like, he just wants to play and have attention. So, and the next dog, oh my gosh, she's my baby. Mochi. Yeah, I named her, obviously. And she's, she's a stray, so we don't really know exactly what she is. But she is, um, I've been searching it up and I think she's like a Lhasa Apso slash Border Terrier. Like her body is like a Border Terrier, but her face is like a Lhasa Apso with her fur. So um, I'm pretty sure she's a mix because she definitely is a mutt. She has to be. Yeah, that's all 25 questions. I hope this wasn't uh, boring for you because I don't know if I talked very well. I'm so awkward and I tend to ramble a lot, but you know. I'm working on it. But yeah, thanks for watching and I hope you got to know me a little better and I hope to see you in the next video.